meningocele encephalocele. What is it? A meningocele is nothing more than herniation of the tough covering that protects the brain. When the brain is involved in that herniation, we call it an encephalocele. And the term meningoencephalocele may come into play. How is a patient diagnosed? Typically, a patient has fluid in the middle ear that develops, and an otolaryngologist puts a tube into the eardrum. Soon thereafter, they develop watery drainage from the ear. And this drainage is really spinal fluid. So this is spinal fluid otorrhea, otorrhea meaning drainage from the ear. And this is occurring from an encephalocele or meningocele. Why do these develop? Well, as the temporal bone develops, and you have to remember that the temporal bone has brain right on top of it. It's the temporal lobe. And as the, the temporal bone develops, you can have congenitally deficient areas within the skull base or uh, floor of the brain within the bone. And over time, you have to remember that the brain is always pulsating. Every time the heart beats, the brain pulsates. So over time, what happens is pressures exerted with that deficient or weakened, congenitally weakened area over the temporal bone. Over time, the bone remodels and herniation of the meninges and the temporal lobe can occur into the mastoid. When the dura breaks open, spinal fluid can leak out from the brain into the mastoid back into the middle ear and through that tube that was placed in the eardrum. What I've just described to you is something I call a spontaneous encephalocele that occurs without any trauma but occurs because of a congenital predisposition to developing this malady. This condition appears later in life in patients who have a predisposition in that they have a deficient area in the roof of the temporal bone. The treatment involves surgery and surgical repair of that defect. And this can be done through the mastoid. This can also be done through a craniotomy approach.